Right now, a hearing is underway on whether to disqualify Fulton County's DA in an election interference probe. Yeah, State Senator Burt Jones is facing possible criminal charges in that investigation, but he wants DA Fonnie Willis to be removed from the case because she might have a conflict of interest. Joe Hinkey is live outside the courthouse right now. Joe, can you break this down for us? Well, Savannah, the Fulton County District Attorney's Office has identified in court documents Burt Jones as one of its, quote, targets in its 2020 election investigation, meaning eventually Jones could face criminal charges. Attorneys for Jones, though, say he's running for lieutenant governor and Willis should not be able to prosecute him in this case because she's supporting one of his political rivals. Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis's office has told 16 Republicans they could face criminal charges as part of its investigation into whether people interfered with Georgia's 2020 election results. Each Republican is accused of signing their names to this list of fake Georgia electors supporting Donald Trump. One of those names is Burt Jones. It's a what are you thinking moment. Um, the optics are horrific. Judge Robert McBurney in court saying evidence Jones's attorney presented to the court raises the question of whether there is a conflict of interest, but is it actual or just assumed? Should I take any remedial action to address an actual conflict or the appearance of a conflict, if I have the authority of it's an appearance? Mm -hmm. um, that's what we're working through. The state senator says Willis and special prosecutor Nathan Wade, along with the entire DA's office, should not be able to investigate or prosecute him in this case. Jones is running for lieutenant governor as the Republican nominee. His opponent is Democrat Charlie Bailey. Willis's campaign donated $2,500 to Bailey's, according to campaign finance records, and Wade donated $2,000 to Bailey when Bailey previously ran for attorney general. According to an event on Bailey's Facebook page, Willis headlined a fundraiser event for him last month. Willis's office has said Jones's allegations are baseless. She supported him as a fellow Democrat, and Jones has not proven the special grand jury proceedings are politically motivated and that there is an actual conflict of interest here. The judge said he will rule on this matter soon. He could go one of two ways. One, he could not disqualify Willis, in this case would just move forward as it's currently said, or he could disqualify Willis and then ask the state attorney general to assign a new prosecutor from a different Georgia county to handle the matters involving Jones, question him under the subpoena that he's been sent, and then take any criminal uh, charges out against Jones if deemed necessary at that time.